Hey guys, JLT here now. In this video, I'm talking about Operation Battle Summer, which has just been announced for another year. Well, it got announced yesterday. And what I think of it, and how it, it really does look quite interesting. It takes place over from the 9th to the 19th, so tomorrow. This does quite look quite interesting. Now, look, first, I'll talk about the squads. First is this, which is a. Um, but looks things, it's a premium squad. It looks quite interesting, to be honest. If and I think if I do get, you know, this premium squad, I think this if this is actually a premium squad, this would be pretty good as it's not an overpowered squad. To be honest, balancing Berlin doesn't look too good in, at the moment from what I've seen. I think this squad does look quite interesting. It how it could fit in, so could be an interesting squad. The second is the. Rhino, which is, um, but looks things just the um, a modification of the Stuart, improved AP and tough to destroy, um, to do extra damage. I don't really see this one. If this was to say a bulldozer Sherman, this could be quite interesting. But I think I reckon most people will still stick with the Sherman over this. And the these collectible cold steel weapons for any country, I think these will look really interesting. I want to see these this in the game. These could actually be very cool. The um, FW189 for Moscow for four task, I think, as well. This is the final one. Looks quite interesting. Apparently, it has a wide view. That cockpit looks really cool. You also get silver orders for troops and weapons for completing the first two tasks as well. I think that's really going to be quite useful, I think, since silver orders and weapons are pretty... Basically, you only need the battle pass and the um, achievements to this. Check both my videos on them for my opinions on them. So let's talk about the tasks. Completing the task, well, well, basically you need to complete a task in said X days. Rifle kills will be very easy, in my opinion. These are guessing these are bolt actions, so this these could be or could be semi autos as well. Could be interesting. And victories in Berlin. If you haven't played Berlin like me, this could be kind of difficult. But rifle kills will be pretty easy. These two, however, are going to be very easy. Placing the top of the top fifty. Basically, that is one of the easiest things to get. Melee kills, on the other hand, pretty easy as well. Down an enemy and you can just butt smack them, gives you the melee kill. For the 13th to the 15th, there's victory in, in the Moscow campaign, tank destructions and semi-automatic rifle kills. The 15th to the 17th, it's victory in Normandy, tank kills, top 30 and grenade kills. Pretty much all of these will be very useful. Tank kills in particular. Tank kills are incredibly easy to get, especially in the Normandy campaign. And for the final days, it is um, SMG kills, points as an engineer, aircraft kills, and finishing first. Now, in order to earn all the rewards on the event, it says here you only need to complete eight to the task, which means that out of these tasks, which there's 15 tasks in the in this time period, you could just do the, the final days of the... You could either do it incredibly early with these tasks, or you can wait until the fin the 15th and you can grind these tasks out. Obviously, I will, not, I will say, of course, probably make a video tomorrow explaining what the tar how about each task. Yeah, it says here you can find details in the event, which I'm guessing this is going to be very similar to how they did the D-Day tasks. There's a tab straight about the battle pass, so I think that'll be quite interesting. You complete the tasks in any campaign or multiplayer mode, which I think is really good because it means that you don't have to go into squads or you don't have to go into lone fighter, which depending on which one you prefer. The rewards I think are actually really useful are well, they range from really cool to not really. Silver orders obviously are just cool, are good regardless. This one looks in the the FW of course I can't actually say so. But I've so so if you have a plane, you, you know this could be interesting. I don't really know. The only one I think would actually be pretty bad is the Rhino. Everything else I think looks either passable or just in or really interesting. I think this could be a really cool event. It will probably be better than the D-Day event they did, which was just two days and you had to basically blitz everything. I think it is really interesting how they're doing this, so... And I will look forward to this event. I'll probably post the first event. Anyways, that'll be the end of this video. I think this is going to be a quite cool event. I hope to see you guys... I hope to see what you guys think about this. And I'll talk to you guys later.